Hey guys, how's it going? It's me and Tommy for a little bit of a TFL fleet update. And we're here just north of Santa Barbara, California for a truck. But before I get to that, let's talk about this. Thanks to our friends at Porsche, we are in the brand new 2021 Porsche 911 Targa. And uh, in this video, we're not gonna tell you what we're doing here in California, but Tommy's gonna do his thing and tell you kind of about the cool gizmos and gadgets. And the first one we showed right at the opening, right, Tommy? Well, that's right, yeah. So the door handles pop open when you click the unlock button. That's pretty cool. But we should probably demonstrate the best part of this car. You got it, dude. I will start it up. Oh yeah, now that is a cool sound. All right, now why don't we show them how the top works? Okay, so what you do is you uh, click this little button and this is what happens. Yeah, so this is the Targa version of the 911, more specifically the Targa 4. Now the Targa roof in the 911 was introduced in the mid 1960s and it's a removable panel, but on the latest generation of 911, it's all automatic. How cool is that? One of the best parts of this car. Yeah, you know, it kind of cuts the difference between a convertible and a coupe, right? Because what you end up getting is, well, a cool look because the problem with the convertible is once you put your windows up, if you don't have this bead pillar right here, it just looks kind of stupid. But here you get the open air beauty of the sunshine without, well, the silliness of a convertible. So why don't I start with a quick walk around of this car before sure. we uh, go through some of the buttons. Now this is the latest generation of 911. It's called the 992. And the Targa is only available in all wheel drive. That's what the four means. So there's the Targa four and the Targa four S. This is the Targa four. It has a 379 horsepower boxer six in the back, uh, twin turbo. It makes 331 pound feet of torque. This latest generation 911 really is a stunner. It's just a gorgeous car. Now this one, interestingly enough, has staggered wheels. So 19 inch wheels in the front. 20 inch wheels in the rear. You can tell the latest generation of 992 911 by this right here. The Chimsel, the center high mounted stoplight. You got the uh, two vertical lights there. This one has the sports exhaust. You got the two exits there. My dad's gonna start it up, I think. Whoa, what a sound. Sounds really good. It actually has two different exhaust modes, which is pretty cool. So I believe that's the quiet mode. Here's the loud mode. Now, even though 379 horsepower doesn't sound like a lot by 2021 standards, Porsche says zero to 60 in about four seconds and it has launch control. So uh, you wanna show them the other party trick, uh, how it can raise its nose using uh, this little button right here. Yeah, sure, I can show the, uh, the nose lift. So in a matter of a few seconds, it's uh, obviously a low car, but you can push a button and the nose will rise. There you go. And put it down. That's a really handy feature. And if you're wondering about how long it takes for the top to come up and down, Porsche says about 19 seconds. So it's a pretty quick operation. How about this button? You wanna show that button? Yeah, that's the spoiler. Now at highway speeds, the 911 will deploy a spoiler. And here's what it looks like on the latest generation. Pretty sleek. So that's for some additional downforce there. And I love what they did with the target top. It's a very complicated mechanism. It actually includes some magnesium components, but this kind of brushed look is iconic. And it's been like that for many, many a generation. Let me show you something cool. You know how I was doing all that? Can you focus on this screen right here, Tommy, or is it too sunny? You're good. All right, so when you do the exhaust, for instance, right, uh, it actually uh, makes a little exhaust in the back uh, red. And same thing when you do the spoilers. Let me show you what happens when I hit the spoiler button. There's a spoiler when I hit it. The little spoiler shows you that it's going up. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that is cool. Now this one has an, um, an eight speed automatic transmission. Although in this generation 911, if you get like the Carrera S, you can still get it with a good old fashioned uh, manual transmission. I believe a seven speed. Yeah, but that's a no cost option. And I think it starts at about, oh gosh. Well, we'll talk about how much this one costs, but I think uh, if you get a base 911 with none of the fancy seats and none of the fancy colors, you're looking at an option that's a hundred, 
thousand dollars, basically ninety nine thousand dollars. And if you want the manual, then you got to get the S version, right? And I believe that starts at one hundred and nineteen, if I'm not wrong, if I'm not mistaken. The the S is more expensive, yeah. So this one starts at one nineteen. Yep. Um, and this is the the Targa Four. Your, your door's open. I want to show them the different modes, but it won't let me show you because your door's open. Sorry, I just bashed my my. Uh shoulder with the door that's why the camera got all wonky there all right here i got the camera so got it. You got it. so we've got different drive modes this is very ferrari like uh what you can do is um well i can't do it because for some reason there we go got uh sport sport plus individual uh normal and wet and yesterday believe it or not while we were driving in here in california it started to rain uh, and the vehicle actually told me to switch into wet mode pretty <laughs> crazy huh yeah it must change the way that the you know stability control allocates power so we just bought a 1987 911 and there's a lot of similarities including the gauge layout obviously in that car it's all analog but on the new 911 you still have an analog um rev counter yep and then you've got i can't see him with your hand there yeah i've got digital gauges for like the speedometer and for your uh temperature and your fuel yeah another interesting button here is your lights it just says auto so there's no more well there's also like an on switch but for the most part you can't really choose you know the light setting you either in auto or you turn them on which is kind of uh, well it's kind of minimalist and kind of cool this is a funky thing too you have uh, this little toggle that's to put it in the drive reverse and then the park button is right here and in front of that you have more toggles for the climate control yeah and let's talk about the thing that everybody's curious about that of course is the fuel economy you know, i'm joking actually the fuel economy is uh 20 mpg combined 18 city 24 highway uh and we're getting let's see here we're getting uh 20 20 yeah we're getting exactly what the monroney says but here is the big number right there yeah 142 yeah 142 740 uh it's not an inexpensive vehicle tommy i guess if you want no substitute you're gonna have to pay for it uh, but it is a perfect california car because well you know i mean you've got the best of both worlds here you've got kind of the solidity of the coupe uh, in terms of handling and then you've got the open air wonder in california of the open top uh, now the reason we're here of course is not just to review this uh, our friends at honda are giving us finally the honda ridgeline uh, to drive back to colorado tommy but it's not just uh, the ridgeline right yeah, we're getting a Talon too, I believe. Yeah, we're getting a Ridgeline hooked up to a Talon. Uh, so the fleet update part of this is later this week, we're going to be picking up the Ridgeline. We're going to be reviewing that, of course. We're going to be doing a road trip review, which is going to stop at one of our favorite places, Moab, where we're going to take the Talon out and we're going to put that through its paces. So I, I got to tell you, if you were to ask me about a perfect dream weekend, uh, this has got to be it. You know, come to California, pick up a 911, drive to Santa Barbara, uh, and then go back to LA, pick up a Ridgeline with a trailer with a talent, and then drive it to Moab. Pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, anything else we want to show them in this vehicle, Tommy? Well, we've got a full review coming, so this is just a quick look, but you got cup holders down here. Yeah, that's so pulled out. Show them this cup. So we were trying to figure out, you know, how do you put a round bottle in a square peg? And, you know, Porsche engineers thought of that. Yeah, this one's got a little uh, removable cup holder that you can plop in there and then. Oh, I've never actually tried. <laughs> How does that work there, Dad? It obviously goes in there somehow. I don't want to force it. So maybe that doesn't go in there. Look at that. Maybe that, 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 that looks like the right shape. Well, let us know in the comments below. Are we doing something wrong here? Or does this go, does this fit into some, Oh, you know what? I bet here. Here's how it works. <laughs> of course. Oh, Porsche, the bin comes out. Of course. Porsche engineers have thought of that. So the bin comes out and then you can replace that with uh, your cup holder. Uh, the one thing that is missing is, hold on, how do I open this? is uh, 442,000. This looks like it's a charger, but I'm not sure it is, it is actually a charger. So maybe that's an option. You know, Porsche does uh, kind of um, certainly lay on the cost of the option. So, you know, this, this vehicle starts at, well, it doesn't tell you how much it starts. It starts at, at 119. 119. Uh, and then we've, of course, got, you know, let's play the options game like George or friend would play. How much do you think the uh, silver metallic paint costs, Tommy? Um, 700 bucks. Uh, 840. How about this is a good one. Leather interior. This it, beautiful Bordeaux leather interior. It's like 5000 right? Yep, 5000 Very good. All right, you guys play along with me. How about the front air lift system? Mm, 2700 You looked at this, Tommy. <laughs> You're cheating. All right. How about 14-way power seats? How much do you think those are? How much? 2300 And here's the biggest, well, the, sec the second biggest number of them all. Uh, it's a premium package, which gets you lane change assist. Uh, ambient lighting, storage package, ventilated seats, Porsche design lights, yada, yada, yada. 
Uh, that's five thousand three hundred. Uh, and the most expensive package on here is what do you think? The sports package. Yep, the sports package which actually gives you stuff that I think if you're going to get a 911, you actually may use. Porsche Torque Vectoring Sport Chrono Package. That's that right there. Those little clocks up there are crazy expensive. And of course, the sport exhaust uh, and tailpipes in silver. So you're paying for additional silver tailpipes for, like I said, a total of 142700 when you add in the 1350 delivery. Uh, and this Porsche is, of course, built in Zuffenhausen. Uh, Germany. Well, there you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, we are about to go and drive up to Solvang. Uh, enjoy this beautiful California weather after, you know, a pretty long winter in Colorado. Uh, and uh, yeah, check out TFL Truck uh, soon uh, for uh, that uh, Ridgeline slash Talon review. The Ridgeline will be on truck, the Talon will be on off-road. Uh, and Tommy, um, you know, sometimes... Um, We've got the best job in the world, thanks to you guys.